G'day folks, I'm Tony Cook and I'm a local North Queensland Australian country music artist with a passion for the outback and its people. Welcome to the heart of Australia and what I like to call laid back country. Here I am, I'm a living on the land, it's a laid back life for a laid back man and you gotta love the kind of lifestyle that I lead. So blame it on the laid back lifestyle that I lead. When I'm running off drunk and semi naked down the street, I got the biggest on cheeky grin you'll ever see. But you can blame it on the laid back, kick back, relax, laugh, and leave. I'm living in the country. For more information on Chartist House, we're catching up with local tourism guide operator, Erica Finlay. G'day Erica, how are you going? Morning Tony, very good. <laughs> Chartist Towers um, has the most incredible story, it really does. Um, I've heard it called the Ballarat of the North. So that gives you some idea of the great peak that Chartist Towers reached. And I have read a little newspaper article in a very, very old newspaper that talked about Chartist Towers in very longing terms as the town that never sleeps. The mines and the stampers are operating 24 hours a day and the town has record levels of champagne consumption. There's still gold rumoured to be in Charters Town, is that correct? Ah, you know what they say? Uh, old gold mines never really close down, they just wait for the gold price to come back up again. <laughs> How are you old hey, mate? Good to see you brother. Good to see you too mate. How's the dirt and dust treated you? Mate, I'll tell you what, as far as festivals go, and I get a few, around a few of them, this has been an absolute cracker. I mean the crowd, the locals, the people that have travelled, everyone has just been out of this world. It's been so much fun. We travelled with James Blundell on this trip and that was just so good. You know, you, you, you turn up on a trip like this and they go, oh, I'm going to put this celeb with you and you think, Oh, what am I going to get, you know? Is it? Yeah, so prima so donna, yeah. bloody, whatever. No, but isn't he a good man, no? Go on. He's awesome. Just He's genuine so good bloke. Mate, I just wanted to touch on some of your history and your past. You're such a massive icon in, in, a, in Australian country music. And, um, you know, I think uh, for, a, for a fellow that's sort of just touching his toes in the water, what are some of the best memories you've got of being in the Australian country music? It's always been about the music and the people I've played it with, but the memorable performances are the least likely ones. We did the most I've ever played to is 150,000 people at Centenary Park in Sydney for Victor Chang's Concert for Life, the guy who's assassinated. Yep. But the ones that meant the most, I did my first Defence Force tour in uh, 1999 when we, in effect, went into um, Timor. And I remember being up there, I think the last thing these fellas and, and girls, a lot of girls in uniform then, on deployment want is some bloke country singer. Uh, about 10 years later the people that were involved during that were coming out of the service and I must have had 100 of them who were saying it was just, you guys coming up and singing was just the break in the tedium, the fact that people remembered that we were, we were at work and uh, so all the Defence Force tours have been invaluable in that they remind you why music is important. It uh, is, yeah. I was actually um, in the Middle East in 2003 and I wished you'd have been on the tour de force then. So if you're stretched out and you want some fun, well come on out and I'll show you around and bring your head, your boots and a fishing rod. So blame it on the laid back lifestyle that I lead. When I'm drinking Jack Daniels, giving pretty girls a wine. I got the biggest darn cheeky grin you'll ever see But you can blame it on the laid back, kick back, relax, laugh, believe I'm living in the country Laid back, laid back country